Let's start our next story with a question or a few questions. Have you ever taken an exam that you were not prepared for? One for which you did not study enough and just before that exam begins, you send a desperate plea to the heavens above, hoping for some divine intervention, praying that the gods bail you out just this once. If you identify with this, then you will understand the plight of the Chinese. Why? Because there's been a sudden spike in religiosity among them, especially the youth. Young people in China are flocking to temples. Is this for faith? The Chinese are facing a slew of troubles, the biggest being economic slowdown. The after effects of the pandemic and rising unemployment, so naturally young Chinese adults are anxious. They have degrees with them, but no jobs. The youth unemployment rate rose to more than 18% in the first two months of this year. And despite the Xi government trying to put a spin on it, the existential anxiety among the young is only growing. What's unique about this situation though? After all, no one seeks out God more than the trouble. The deeper the crisis, the more fervent your prayers. Most of us have been there. But China is a unique case because the Chinese Communist Party, which rules this country, is officially atheist. So God is persona non grata for them. The state does recognize five religions though, Buddhism, Taoism, Islam, Catholicism, and Protestantism. But China is among the world's least religious countries. It has the most number of non-believers, almost close to one billion. For the Chinese to be turning to God in their moment of crisis is not a routine matter. What has changed, you may ask? After China reopened and dropped its stringent COVID lockdown rules, Buddhist and Taoist temples have become a popular destination for the young. And temples anywhere in the world are usually not youth hotspots. But disillusioned Chinese are hot-footing it to these places of worship in search of solace. Temple hopping in China is now a trendy activity. The Lama Temple or Yongi Palace in Beijing is a Tibetan Buddhist temple. It is now among the most visited in the country. The Lama Temple sees a footfall of around 40,000 visitors every day. This has been happening since early March, and it's not an isolated case. Compared to last year, visits to temples across China have surged by more than 300% in 2023. What's more, millennials and Gen Z make up half of these numbers. Remember, most of them would have had an atheist or Marxist education. So it's going against the grain. Meanwhile, temples are now wooing the young. Some have opened one-of-a-kind coffee shops inside their premises. Others offer immersive experiences with the help of metaverse and AI technologies. It's not like the youth are looking to become monks or nuns though. What they're looking for is an antidote to the pressures of life. And religion seems to be providing them a safe haven. For the unemployed young Chinese adults, life seems to be stuck in buffering. With the Xi government and his policies letting them down, they're now looking for some cosmic support to intercede on their behalf, or at the very least, lend a patient ear. So is China retrospectively legitimizing God? From the Chinese Communist Party's public disavowal of God to the youth's newfound theological love, it is quite a leap of faith. In March, the Beijing News published an op-ed. It urged the youth to work harder at their jobs rather than praying to deities. The state media have also criticized so-called Buddhist socialities for allegedly flaunting their wealth at temples. But this has not stopped the religious awakening of China's millennials and Gen Z. This sudden love for everything God adjacent is not simply a matter of experience though. It seems more like a shield for the youth in the battlefield of modern life. So the temple run is likely to continue in jobless China.